Regulation of Respiration Rhythmic discharges from the neurons present in the respiratory centers of brainstem leads to spontaneous respiration. These discharges are able to stimulate the motor neurons that innervate muscles of respiration. The voluntary control of respiration is mediated by the impulses coming from the cerebral motor cortex onto the brainstem respiratory centers. Lesion at Midpontine Level Lesion at midpontine level with vagal afferent influence intact leads to reduced respiratory rate with increased depth of respiration. Removal of vagal influence by bilateral vagotomy consequent to midpontine sectioning leads to prolonged inspiration and a sudden expiration. This type of breathing is known as apneustic breathing. Hence, it could be concluded that there is a center in upper part of pons which has the ability to control the rate and depth of respiration. The apneustic center present in lower pons is under the influence of pneumotaxic center present in the upper part of pons as well as the vagal afferent influences. When the influence from pneumotaxic center and vagal afferents are lost, there are no inhibitory influence acting on the apneustic center. Due to prolonged uninhibited activity of the apneustic center, the inspiratory center activity continues for a long time leading to sustained inspiration and sudden expiration. Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, also known as cot death or crib death, is the sudden unexplained death of child less than one year of age. It's a frightening prospect because it can strike without warning usually in seemingly healthy babies. Most SIDS deaths are associated with sleep, hence the common reference to crib death. Ondine's Curse Respiration is regulated by both involuntary and voluntary control. In some conditions, involuntary respiration is lost, while the voluntary control is still intact. In this condition, a person is able to continue breathing until he or she voluntarily remembers to breathe. As soon as voluntary effort to keep breathing stops, respiration ceases. According to a German legend, Ondine was a water nymph who had an unfaithful mortal lover. The king of the water nymph punished the lover by casting a curse on him that took away all his involuntary respiratory functions. In this state, he could stay alive only by being awake and remembering to breathe. He eventually fell asleep from sheer exhaustion and his respiration stopped. Patients with this intriguing condition generally have bulbar poliomyelitis or any disease that compresses the medulla oblongata. Ondine's curse is also known as central hypoventilation syndrome. It could be congenital or acquired. Acquired central hypoventilation syndrome can develop as a result of severe injury or trauma to the brain or brainstem, but in rare circumstances can also result from severe trauma in brain, 
or spinal cord or injury such as after an automobile accident stroke asphyxiation or due to particular neurodegenerative conditions such as parkinson's and multiple sclerosis <laughs>